Welcome along guys, well, I'm at Barnstormer BMW in Alton to test ride a new bike. No, it's not the GS, <laughs> it is the new S1000 Double R. So the S1000 Double R, everyone knows about it, everyone's been talking about it for the last four or five months you know this is the bike this is the bike you've got to ride everyone's asking me chops when are you going to get on the new s1000 double r well here we are only briefly only for an hour an hour's taste of this bike but it should be enough for me to be able to tell is this a game changer so this is the standard version this isn't the m sport this is the stock version this is the 15 and a half thousand pound basic version which I don't think BMW are going to sell many of these. I think most people see if they can get hold of them. Most people are going for the M Sport version, which has the uh, the carbon wheels and all those extras. This is the basic one. But what what Barnstorm has done, they fitted some forged wheels onto this anyway, just to make it a bit lighter. And it does it does feel light to ride. So specs of these, I'm sure you're aware, these are around 195 kilos wet. So incredibly light. They're also 202 brake horsepower, is what BMW lists them as. But independent dyno tests have proved them to be about 205, 206 brake horsepower at the back wheel in full standard trim. So it's an incredibly powerful motorcycle. It's absolutely bonkers, as you would imagine it would be. I almost wish this didn't have the forged wheels on it so I could see what it was like completely stock. Because with these on, it feels really nimble actually. Has this one got cruise control or is that an option? Yes it has. Bloody cruise control, that's what you want. Bang that on, enables you to rest your hands. I think it's an absolute must on a sports bike, bit of cruise control. Love that. The whole TFT is beautiful on this. It's got to be one of the best, or if not the best, TFT I've seen. I always say I prefer an analogue rev counter to a, to a TFT, but that, that is how they should be. That is beautiful. The mirrors are quite vibey, actually. I can't see much in those mirrors at all. Not that you really care about mirrors on a sports bike, but it's a little point to mention. I know TMF cares a lot about his mirrors, and uh, yeah, they're a little bit vibey. A little bit vibey, if that's, in, if that's your thing. <laughs> More than you would ever need on the road. But it, that power is accessible. It doesn't feel like it's too much, you can't use it. It wasn't wheeling too much. I think the electronics must be very, very good on this. There's none of that wheel, wheel coming up, shut the power off, wheel coming up, shut the power off very smooth very controllable even when you're fully on the gas that is a surprise it's not so much power there that you can't use it it's there the electronics allow you to tap into it and use it bloody shifts let's try a fifth gear overtake at 60 miles an hour let's see how it pulls overtaking this car in front this fellow bmw Fifth gear, it's 57 mile an hour, full power. There's nothing wrong with that mid range. If you go into the menus on here, sport might I mean, I don't even know where to start. Sport, I mean, what's this little thing do? Moves along. Navigation. It's got built in navigation, which is a lovely touch. Well, it looks like it's not enabled, though, so you may have to pay to enable it. So much information in the. In the in the menus, I can't even begin to go into that. <laughs> I've only got an hour on the bike. Suffice to say, there's enough there to keep you busy <laughs> for a good couple of hours. It goes well. It's really easy to ride. That, you know, it, you can go quickly on it and it just feels super easy. Very controllable. It's quite vibey, as the revs go up, the vibrations increase, which I guess is to be inspected, but it is a little bit vibey. 
that would be one criticism of it. Does it feel quicker than the RSV4 1100 factory I borrowed? It, it doesn't feel as fast. Maybe it's because of the noise of that bike and the fact that you feel you're fighting it a little bit because it's trying to wheelie. I think this is just, with this straight four engine, it's so smooth, so powerful, the electronics are so good at keeping it under control. I think it doesn't feel as fast as that 1100 factory. But I've seen speed comparison testing and this is faster. But I don't think it gives you quite the same thrill as the 1100 factory V4 does. You know, the straight four engines, you can sometimes say they are a little bit boring, a little bit soulless. And I do get that a bit. I, I see what people mean. I mean, you cannot beat the, the noise in the theatre of a V4. But this is so refined. It's hard to say that it's soulless. It's, it, it's the, I think it is the pinnacle of the straight four engine that's now. I think this really is the ultimate straight four sports bike. There's not even that much weight on your wrists at all. It's perfectly acceptable, the comfort levels. <laughs> much more so than my H2. That quick shifter, so smooth. Same with the blipper. It's not my GSX-R, beautifully smooth. The thing about the S1000RRs, they, all, they always make, make good road bikes because they have things like the cruise control, the heated grips, you know, your SOS button, just those little options you get as a, as a road bike. They're not, they're not sold as track machines. They have the creature comforts. I mean, what is this button here? Something on. Oh, I've just turned something on. I probably don't want on now. Ooh, those brakes. Oh, man. They're incredible. I'd love to take this on track because there is just an incredible amount of braking here. One thing which always worries me on track is braking. I don't feel that confident really stamping on them. But these are amazing. That suspension, I have to say, is very, very good. I've not noticed any imperfections in the road. I've not noticed getting jarred out in the seat. It feels very compliant. And even when you're pushing on, it feels lovely and sporty and firm. These electronic systems are so good. So, so good. Electronic suspension, as, a, as for a road bike, I think is fantastic. I've not noticed any crashing, and these roads are terrible around here. Let's do a quick walk around. We <laughs> nearly lost it on the leaves. So there it is. They've made a big effort with this bike, with the styling. I think it does look a lot better than the old version. Obviously the big change with it on this one, which everyone is talking about, is the new, now symmetrical headlights. Let's get them both in. It's a very pretty front end now. Um, I was never really that fond, certainly not of the original double R front end, but it's sort of a flat face and it's odd headlights. The second generation was better when it had the slight little beak, but this for me is by far the best looking double R. It's almost Ducati sort of look, especially in that red. I think that's probably why I wouldn't get the red one because <laughs> it does look very Ducati like. As I mentioned, this particular bike has the optional forged wheels, which look delicious. I don't know, they are, they're M Sport wheels. There must be a BMW op option for forged wheels. They look very nice, like them. These are the new calipers, work fantastically. Uh, BMW branded, but I think they're made by, I can't remember the company they're made for, but the company who makes them is actually owned by Brembo. So still some Brembo involvement there. Other big changes is the new subframe. It's got like this uh, trellis subframe. Just like, oh, that's hot. I'm just looking at the heat actually, because these always have been bikes which run very hot. That frame, you could fry an egg on that. That's actually too hot to touch. The old fins, you know, you've still got that shark fin styling there. It's, it's a good looking bike. The other big change with these is there's no tail light. 
the tail light and brake light is all integrated and the indicator's in there as well. Let's put the indicator on. So it's all integrated. So when you're braking, you must not be able to see that indicator very well. I'm surprised that's even legal. Switch gear is nice quality. I like the feel of all that. Very busy and there's a lot on here. You've got the wheel as well for adjusting everything on the display and it tilts and moves and all sorts of going on with the switch gear, but it's nice. This one's got the SOS button to calling BMW emergency services. So that's, this must have some extras on this bike. I don't know if this is completely stock. This has the heated grips and other stuff. Let's have a look at that display. Look at that. It's the same display, same physical TFT, which is on the new GS that we were using in Spain the other week, but obviously it's got a new layout. It's really, really nice. The, the, the display on this is fantastic. The best TFT I've ever used, I have to say. I would prefer that TFT over an analog rev counter setup. That's beautiful. Very, that's, that's how to implement a TFT. That's very nice. Other little styling things, you've got these little grills at the back, but the plastics do seem a little bit plasticky. I think you'd want to sort of swap this for sort of carbon, really, long term, because they're a little bit cheap looking and you know this stuff is a little bit cheap looking another thing with this bike is the new swinging arm they've used it's sort of an underslung swinging arm i used to love the all silver shiny swinging arm of the old bike it used to be one of the big key features for me that bike the swinging arm looked absolutely lovely i do quite like it but i think i wish they'd made it silver it's nowhere near as good looking as the old swinging arm i'll, I'll post up a picture of the old double r it's much nicer looking than that it was one of the best things about the bike that swinging arm looked absolutely delicious but overall i think they've done a damn fine job of updating the bike i love the new led headlights i mean those are led headlights at the front there little running lights this looks mean doesn't it the whole arc of that front fairing look it's it's a, it's a very good looking bike indicators are now integrated with the mirrors which is a nice touch cleans up the fairing nicely Love it. It's a very good looking bike. I certainly wouldn't say no. Let's do an Austin Power style 30 point turn. Steering lock is pretty decent. Good steering lock. Ain't bad at all for a sports bike. Neutral. Second, it's really tight. Bang it down from second, first. Second. Little tap, little tap. Uh, first, it's not easy to find neutral. Try and roll it forward a little bit. Oh my god. Normally you can go to second and tap down. <laughs> That's really difficult. It's because the because of the quick shift and the blipper, there's like movement in the lever, like a a set of bagginess. A bit baggy the lever. Neutral, there we go, after the fifth or sixth attempt. Look at that screen. Oh, it's nice. So there we go, guys. First little look at the RR. Hope you enjoyed that. It's literally just an hour's first impressions. First impressions, it's all good. How quickly you're up to speed without even giving it anything. Things to love about this bike, the looks, the ease of use, the accessibility of the power. The TFT, the kit you get, I know a lot of it is optional extras, but the kit which you could potentially get if you weren't willing to spend more money. It's just a lovely bike to ride. Bad things, pegs are high. I guess you could get some rear sets to lower those a bit if you wanted. It's a little bit vibey and it's extremely difficult to find neutral. <laughs> it could just be this bike. But I know the old double R was always a little bit tricky to find neutral as well. But uh, apart from those little finicky things, it's an absolute cracker. Massive thanks to Barnstormer BMW at Alton for lending me the bike for an hour or so. Let's appreciate you guys. I'll put a link below to Barnstormer. So if you want to test ride this, give me a ring. Take it for a test ride. I think you'll be impressed. See you later, guys. Neutral? Yay! We did it!